Right now, as of the recording of this video, the Minnesota Vikings are 2-5 and five in last place in the NFC North. And going into this upcoming NFL trade deadline, they are selling. They have multiple players on the trade block, or they have said they are open to trading multiple players that are key pieces to their team. And going into the NFL season, it seemed like the Minnesota Vikings were in some people's eyes, favorites to win the NFC North this year because the Packers were getting older, the people didn't think the Bears would be able to bounce back or decide who they want at quarterback, and the Lions are the Lions, but this has been far from the truth as the Vikings are in last place in the NFC North right now. But what is happening to the Minnesota Vikings? As a Minnesota Vikings fan, that is my favorite NFL team, I can tell you going into the season, I had very, very high hopes for the season. I actually thought that we could win the NFC North and thought, well, we have a very good shot at the playoffs as well. Not saying that we would have won the Super Bowl or made it to the Super Bowl, but I definitely think we could have made it to the NFC Championship game. I think a good starting point where the Minnesota Vikings started to fall apart partially was when Michael Pierce, the defensive tackle, they picked up that offseason to be their starting defensive tackle to replace Linval Joseph, officially opted out of the 2020 NFL season. And another serious blow that hit the Minnesota Vikings below the belt was Daniel Hunter having to miss the first four games of the NFL season originally, but now he he's going to miss the entire 2020 NFL season. Despite having two defensive starters already being out going into the 2020 NFL season, I still had some hope for the season because, I mean, I felt really good about our young core and the defensive backs for the future because, I mean, I know they're going to struggle in the beginning, but I knew we had some studs on the defensive side of the ball, and I thought the offense would still be able to pick up the production from last season, so I wasn't really worrying that much. But in week one, when we played the Packers, the defense got exposed and Kirk Cousins did not play the best along with the rest of the offense. Because that game, the offensive line didn't do good. Dar Dalvin Cook really didn't eat up as much as he usually does and Kirk Cousins didn't do as good as he usually does either. And the defense got exposed bad and we ended up getting hurt. Despite losing the first game to the Packers, not all hope was lost. I mean, you could argue that they, it was only the first game of the season, and the DBs are pretty young. You're going to have games like that with some young players on the defense and players who are missing, obviously. And the defense was mainly the problem in that game, along with the O-line at moments. But the Indianapolis Colts was a team I thought the Vikings could bounce back on, which is far from the truth. The Vikings got exposed. And the defense wasn't as bad this game as they were last game, but you cannot win a game throwing three interceptions and zero touchdowns and completing less than 50% of your passes and having one touchdown on the whole day with Dalvin Cook and losing the game 11-28 to and doing completely nothing at all with the ball. The Vikings would then play the Tennessee Titans where they end up losing on a game-winning field goal by one point and it was a game that they could have easily won as they were pretty much in the game the entire game and it seemed like they could have won but the O-line and Kirk ultimately failed in the end. Then they would finally get their first win of the season versus the Houston Texans who are one of the worst teams in the NFL right now pretty much due to management primarily due to trading everyone away and completely leaving Deshaun Watson out in the dry and the defense but you cannot do much about that but the Vikings would win that game by eight points which a victory is a victory you need them whenever you can get them then the next game the Vikings would play the Seattle Seahawks in which they were winning most of the game and then they blew it. They blew it hard in the second half, primarily the third quarter. And then when they could have won the game, just to take a lead with a field goal, go for it on fourth and inches. You don't get it. And then Russell Wilson leads a game winning drive and you lose by one point. These are the losses that can destroy your team and just make you want to quit. After this game... 
some players were told that they some players are mad obviously i would be mad too that you lost a game that way but this is not where the team fell apart i would say and honestly the team hasn't fallen apart yet the falcons versus the vikings the vikings were expecting to win this game i was expecting them to win this game the falcons were blowing leads left and right and they didn't even have a win yet and the vikings did nothing they sucked on offense, they sucked on defense. But the Falcons, I'll give them this, they have a good offense. But the Vikings gave them their first win of the season, and yeah, they played horrible, and after this game, it seemed like the chemistry was awful. Everybody was telling everyone in the rumors that people were about to get traded, and the Vikings were selling, and we basically have no hope for the season, is which, the way I took it. The Vikings did win yesterday versus the Green Bay Packers, which is an amazing win and heavy part due to the defense and Dalvin Cook carrying. But as a Vikings fan, this season is an utter disappointment. I am extremely disappointed in the Vikings so far in 2020. After watching all the Vikings games this season, I know the Vikings playoff hopes are officially dead. And I will say this, this is just as a fan, this is bias, of course. I'm going to have some bias with the Vikings because I'm a fan. I don't see us getting last place in the division, but I would not be surprised if we do. I feel like the team will not blow up completely like the rumors say we will going into the trade deadline because I don't think that they're going to do that. This is a team that can go to the playoffs and win the division when healthy. The Minnesota Vikings are not healthy right now. We have key players hurt. And I will say this, the chemistry is off a lot right now due to the losing and some of the play calling that has been happening recently has been very bad in my eyes. Some of the main problems of the Minnesota Vikings in my eyes are the O-line, which the O-line in my eyes last season really wasn't that great. And so far this season, they have not been producing really at all. And if you do not have a good O-line, you're not going to really succeed in the NFL or in football at all. Another problem in my eyes that I've noticed is Kirk. Kirk Cousins, which people make fun of his primetime abilities, has pretty much been in primetime mode all season long. Kirk Cousins has just been struggling all season long. He's had one good game He's just been struggling a lot to protect the ball, throw the ball, just a lot of stuff that's not going his way this season. Of course, you're only halfway through the season. He can pick it up in the second half, but right now it's not looking good for Kirk Cousins. And as a fan, I feel like I noticed this to an extent. The chemistry kind of seems off with Kirk right now with the team. I feel like some of the players just aren't liking him right now, obviously because he's playing horrible. And when you're the quarterback, all the pressure will be on you, of course. I can make a whole video going on Kirk, but I don't really want to because I feel like Kirk has potential, but Kirk also fails so much with the team. It's just Kirk, either in my eyes, is either really good or really bad. It's never in between, and that's just my opinion, of course. Another thing that the Minnesota Vikings are struggling with is defense, and this is something they usually never struggle with. They're usually really good on defense. Last year, they even had a top 10 defense. But in 2020, they struggled with injuries, opt-outs, and they have a young secondary. And a lot of young defensive players that are having to step up right now, which they're not really ready, but they're going to get better throughout the season in my eyes due to the experience. But right now, they're getting exposed, and they're getting exposed a lot. And if you go to the NFL on ESPN and look at the defensive stats, the Minnesota Vikings in total defense or a bottom five team. They are only in front of the Texans, Jacksonville, and Seattle. Those are the only teams that they have a better defense than right now, as of the recording of this video, which is really sad because last year they were a top 10 defense. And in my eyes, it will only get better, but I do not know that. Right now, I feel like the season is over. Right now, as a Vikings fan, for the rest of the season, I'm not expecting to go to the playoffs or even win the division. I just want to see improvement each game. I don't want to settle for tanking and trading away key pieces on our team right now because I know next season we're going to be back. I feel like the team isn't over. I know when we're healthy and when everyone's clicking, we're one of the top teams in the NFL. 
I'm definitely not going to give up hope right now. The season might look very, very dreadful for the Vikings, but I know the future is going to be bright. Well, guys, if you guys liked the video, remember to smash that like button, turn on them post notifications, and subscribe for more videos. Be Kelly, out.